This is checkpoint three on stationary waves. Um, first question here is about how a stationary wave is formed. And it's very, very important that when you look at these diagrams of waves all the way through this checkpoint, you're clear on the difference between a progressive wave where the peak is moving and a stationary wave um, where the particles vibrate up and down, but there are nodes and antinodes and you can't see the wave moving in either direction. That's why it's called a stationary wave. But how is that stationary wave formed? Because you normally think about waves moving, uh, a way of transferring energy. Well, it's formed because you've got two progressive waves, which have got the same frequency and it's similar, ideally identical, but similar amplitude. And those two waves are traveling in opposite directions and they interfere or superpose with each other. Okay, so it's very important that you understand the principle of that. You can't just make a stationary wave on its own. You've got to make two progressive waves and they interfere to form a stationary wave. So normally that's done by the um, wave reflecting. All the examples we've done is where the wave is reflecting off one end. So here's a diagram of a stationary wave. Um, again, crucial to understand here that what's happening is these a little bit later, for example, than that solid line, the wave might look something like this, okay, as opposed to moving across here, where the peak of the wave has moved to the right. State the wavelength, well here's one wavelength to here, so it's two thirds of the 1.2 meters, which is 0.8 meters. Calculate the frequency of the oscillation, well, they're giving us a wave speed here, so we need to do frequency equals wave speed over wavelength, 200 meters per second, divided by 0 0.8 meters, gives us 250, don't forget the units, hertz. Okay, this is the, actually three of the five marks for this question. Draw, a di draw on the diagram the position of the string 0 0.3 milliseconds later than the position shown. Okay, so the key thing to understand here is how much of an oscillation is 0 0.3 milliseconds. Well, the period of the wave is 1 over the frequency. That's 1 over 250. Okay, that is um, 0.004 seconds or 4 milliseconds. So this is 3 milliseconds out of 4 milliseconds. So it's 3 quarters of an oscillation. So if you look back up to the top here, it's starting from this black line, the solid line. After half an oscillation, so after two milliseconds, it's down at the bottom. And after another half, uh, after another quarter of an oscillation, sorry, that's going to be a straight line through the middle. So please get a ruler out. Just draw that straight line through the middle. So it looks as if you took a photograph. It would look as if the string wasn't moving at all. Okay, but of course, the energy at this point is the kinetic energy of these particles in the middle here. These particles are moving upwards. All these particles along here are all moving upwards at the same time. Okay, state the physical conditions that are necessary for the formation of a stationary wave. Hopefully getting the message here that this question um, is quite important because it comes up on all three of these stationary wave questions. Obviously the answer is the same. State how you know that the wave on the string is transverse. Okay, we need to be careful here. Just to explain clearly, hopefully you all know the principle of a transverse wave from back from key stage four. Um, but you need to say the particle displacement. Whoops, displacement. Sorry about my spelling there. Is perpendicular. To the energy. Transfer. Okay. So the energy in this wave is going this way, but the particles are going this way. Compare the amplitude and phase of the points A and B. Well, point A is doing this over time, whereas point B is doing this. So the amplitude of A is greater than B. But the one that will catch people out, this is the one where I find out if you really understand about f the phase in stationary waves. Because if you're trying to think like, oh, that's a little bit further from the end, so it's kind of like it's almost pi, because it's almost there, but it's a little bit extra, because this point is pi away from there, then you've completely missed the point. Okay, All of these points from there to there, they're all in phase with each other. If any one of those points is going down, every other point is on its way down. 
whereas these points from here are all doing the exact opposite. If these points are going down, all of these points are going up. Okay, so the phase is that A is by head of B. Again, if it asks for a phase relationship, in phase is okay if they are in phase. So, for example, with this point here, as we'll see in a minute, this point is in phase with that point. But you can't just say out of phase. If you're going to say out of phase, you've got to say out of phase by how much. Okay, the length of the string is 1.2 meters. So this is um, a nice easy one because that is one wavelength. And the speed is 6.2 meters per second. Calculate the vibration frequency. So again, this is F equals C over lambda. 6.2 over 1.2 is 5.2, 5.2 hertz. Bit of a gift of four marks there, hopefully. Okay, sketch the new shape of the stationary wave. This is quite hard, you'll have to forgive me on the tablet. Um, this is when the frequency is tripled, so instead of getting one wave, we're going to get three waves. Please, when you're doing it, make the effort, even if you just do it by eye, to roughly divide it into three sections. And then you've got a whole wave between those two. So if you do that, you won't get in a mess and find you've run out of room. You can draw one wave, two waves, three waves. Okay, something like that. Hopefully a little bit better than mine um, on a piece of paper. Show in your diagram three points, P, Q and R, that oscillate in phase. Well, you can have any three points along the same part of the wave. So for example, P, Q and R... But you could have, um, if we call that one P, you could have any point over here, Q, and any point over here, R. You don't have to have, for example, like the three peaks. Any of these points with any of these points and any of these points, or the same on the bottom, will all be in phase with each other. Okay, once again, explain why a stationary wave is formed on the string. Okay. What's maybe missing here is reflection, okay? So you could talk about the wave hitting the one end and reflecting back. These are not, we don't have to make it vibrate at both ends. Um, and then a similar question before, this time we're working at the speed. So we know that wave speed C equals F lambda, but there is a catch in here that although the length of the string is 1.2 meters, that's only half a wave. So you need to know that lambda is actually 2.4 meters. So you do C equals um, 150 times 2.4, which is 360 meters per second. And then on figure two, draw the stationary wave that will be formed um, if it's 450. So again, we've gone from 150 to 450, so we've tripled it. Um, so let's break it into three again, but this time not a whole wave between each of those ones. Okay, this is three half waves. So something like one, two, three waves on the string.